YouTube, it's Taryn. Um, welcome. Welcome back, whatever the case may be. It is Saturday night, um, October 29th. My kids are all at a uh, costume party, and Dax and I went and got ice cream earlier, and now we're home, and he's getting to watch TV on his big TV in the living room with nobody else and loving every minute of it. So I thought I'd run out here and do my video. Before I start on what I worked on, um, a few weeks ago when I showed this, I would gotten a question on where it came from and I couldn't find it. I thought I'd left the magazine out separate from everything else, but I hadn't. And last weekend when I was going through with my new fabrics and um, kidding up things and looking at patterns that I had marked and stuff. I came across the magazine that it was in and it's in this cross stitch and country crafts. It's the January, February of 1991 issue. Um, and this is where it is. It's close to the front of the magazine, but if you see this, cause I know a lot of people will cut up magazines. If you see something for these patterns for sale, um, this is where it is. You can see these were actually drawer pulls. I think this one's cute. Um, and they were stitched on 18 count, but I stitched mine on 22 so it would fit down in the little bottle. So there you go. Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, January, February 1991. And in case you're not watching my videos, well, she if she's not watching them, she won't know. Um, I'll try to remember to put that information on in answer to the comment where you asked the question. I want to get that out of the way before I forget and before I misplace the magazine again. Anyway, most of my stitching this week had to do with the Stitch Mania election stitch along. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dog. It's not my dog, it's my daughter's dog, and if he's outside, he is barking all the time. Anyway, um, it started on October 25th, and the first day was Red States, and you were supposed to stitch on something with red in it, and I stitched on my Snails in Love. And, look, I am... I've got all the cross stitching done. I, it's all back stitch now. I'm so excited. Finally, feel like I'm getting close. And like I've been saying for, I don't know, 5, 10, 20 weeks, I hope I can get this one finished. I had these three little squares right there, those three little X's, and I was out of red thread. I dropped the red thread that came with the kit somewhere, and I can't find it anywhere. The cats probably ran off with it, if I had to guess. So I had to dig through my Oort bag and find a piece that was long enough to get those three squares in. But I did, and I'm loving the way it's looking with the back stitch in it. So I can't wait. Um, October 26 was build a wall. You're supposed to stitch on a piece with a wall in it. And... I worked on this piece, Friendship Quilts by Paula Vaughn. It's a leisure, leisure arts uh, publication pattern. This is when I started for Stitch Mania, and I had stitched just this porch, the bottom of the swing right here, just this porch swing. And so I came over here to work on the wall. And that's what I got done. It's pretty stinking impressive, right? But you know, I think last week when I was talking about kidding things up, in that I have my little list of uh, floss colors that when I've gone through kidding things up where I'm missing some, and I said that as I finish projects, I should be able to fill in anything that I'm missing, so I'm not going out to buy it right now. This is why I said that. This is just for this pattern. It's 
ridiculous. Anyway, last week when I was actually kidding things up and going through, um, because I with that new fabric I went through some patterns and used some some of the new fabric that I got some different things to kit up. I counted after I got everything kitted up, and it's not, I'm not even counting the little tiny thing kits that come with everything in them that I have. But I counted at 36 kitted projects, and that's not counting the 25 or so whips that I have. I think I have plenty, plenty to keep me busy for a while. Anyway, the 27th was blue states, and you're supposed to stitch on something with blue in it. So I worked on this piece. This is a really, really old kit. Um, Probably, I don't know, it's from 1987. So, and I probably bought it somewhere in that uh, range of time. It's another one that I don't remember buying because it's so old. Um, but I worked on this blue right there. Pretty exciting stuff. The 28th was the first female major party candidate and so you were supposed to work on a piece with a female in it so I worked on this one it's from a normal Norman Rockwell book I think this is probably my oldest whip um, the book has some other neat patterns in it it's got some stockings this piece. But this is another one that is so old, I don't remember when I started it or anything like that. And I don't know why I quit working on it because look how far I am. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, I worked on her. Um, it's a four page pattern and this right here, the pages meet in the middle. So this right here is really all I've got done, this last page. That's all I've got left. And into outline. I've done a little bit of the back stitching, but mostly not. So anyway, I worked on her for my lady, my woman. And I have not worked on today's yet. Um, today is purple states, stitch on something with purple in it. That was hard. I don't have much stuff with purple. The only thing I worked on this week outside of those things was this cat. I can't show you the picture. It's a daily cross stitch one, so I only have the pattern. Um, but basically I got the leg finished. That really is what it amounts to. I dare say it's not going to be ready for Halloween. But that's about it. That's all I've gotten done. I am doing the um, stitch from stash next year um, and it runs January through June. I'm really going to try to do it all year uh, see if I can't do that make that happen. But Stephanie added an event in the group for people because a lot of people were going and buying a lot, overspending and everything right now, trying to prepare. So she added an event for November and December for people who wanted to go ahead and start now. Um, and so I signed up with that. And it doesn't roll into whatever you do right now is only for November and December. It doesn't affect what you committed to for next year. So for November and December, I set my budget at zero to spend. I have, um, like I said, 36 kitted projects and 25 whips that I need to get taken care of. And if I desperately need something, I have um, 
my parents gave me a $50 gift card to Hobby Lobby for my birthday. So I can, that doesn't count because you're not spending your own money. Um, so I could go get something if I actually needed it. But even then I'm going to try not to. I've already committed to that and then it occurred to me that um, at the end of November, beginning of December, um, Dax and I go to Las Vegas. We go do continuing education classes. And we're in Las Vegas for like 10 days. And there's a huge store in Las Vegas I should go to. But I've already committed to spending zero money. So I guess he's safe. I won't have to beg and guilt him into taking me because I've committed not to spend any money. I wish I would think I had. I wish I would think I had. So, I guess he's off the hook for another year. And I know we'll be in Vegas for 10 days. And... I, I hate to tell y'all about it. I hate to make people jealous because not everybody can live my life of glamour um, for seven full days. We, from 8 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon, we will be sitting in accounting classes all day, every day, Sunday through Saturday. I know that's the stuff that makes people jealous, and I'm sorry, but it's the life I've chosen to live, and the glamour and the good times, they come with it. I just, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Actually, I won't be in class all seven days, because there are a few of those days where it's just way over my head, so... Why pay the money for a class that is just... Anyway, McKenna at Every Stitch Counts had commented last week and apparently we have a love interest. Um, Pepe has asked about my friend. Her name is Penelope. And when I told her that Pepe had asked about her and asked if it was okay for me to give her name. She was thrilled and even asked to dress up a little bit tonight. So she's got a little crocheted scarf on. I hope Pepe likes it. I think we have an internet love connection. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I'm looking around like something's going to jump out at me and say, hey, talk about me. But I, if I've forgotten something, then it's forgotten. So it doesn't matter if I look around. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great week. I hope you get lots of stitching done. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for the comments, the likes, and for subscri subscribing. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great week. Bye.